Ajuta.
On it. Done. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. On it. Done. On it. Done.
Yes, what's on your mind? I thought I said I don't want to talk about it. Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. Well, I suppose you're right. Fine, then. But I, I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men of Atreus, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I could have stopped it all. Don't even start with that. I don't feel sorry for myself. I feel angry at Saul and all those others. It's all I can think about sometimes. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. the Sith but a quarantine on the planet. It's bad enough we can't leave, but all you off-worlders are stuck here too. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Find a selection of supplies in all of Terrace. You interested in seeing what I have in stock? Because of the Sith...
He appeared to he endured it all, and rallied both, and he behind Borukia, when now for the Tufta, Moria. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Moria, and he behind Borukia. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Oh! Run for it! What?
My mama says I have to stay out of the lower city. That's where the bad people live. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. I knew you were here to kill me. Well... I won't go down without a fight! I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. Why didn't you say so? 
Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at anybody. Even our Sith patrols have come under fire. Thank you. 
Kawana bota ayuat, tagwa tanki bora. Topata bota boda ni winki snak toma, tuk ni nanko.
what? On it. Done. Kipuna! Kava tumpa kulpa yia moka paata! Chi yoka kutumpa kulpa yia! Chi bedwana ni bobo. Tonk nabung sha nun yang. Tonk patoga smaktelia. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang inkotu. Tolba da bung kualya gando de nago chuchut, kachi chu ai tha haudunga. Yumalith ka inkotun, chilo mulra de ne bobo. Unko kun biskang, ba mulara, takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ai tha haudunga, tolba da bung kualya gando de nago chuchut. Moga shampoo pa, bola wan na chikni. Ba mul ne slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli ra best. Kachi chu ay sa haudunga. In kin kun no ba muli ra chikun. Slim a po da na. Run di haudunga kun hunga bi. We eat a nadana itia. What are you, Makawama, who hanek? A shunk turong, um nipatoga. Wana kun best ching palamul tonki. Takum just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aithao donga. Tulpata bonk molya gando danago churchut. Moga shampoo pa, bola wan na chikni. Ba mul ne slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli ra best. Konti chani, muli ra ashong turong umni patoga wanga chone tize. Ikratug hatu. Chichi ya, what are you makawa mahuhanek? Ui, itha nadana yitya, kunti chani, tong batoga smaktelia. Takum just tak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga, tulpa da bong molya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampoo pa, bola wan na chikni. Ba mul ne slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli ra best. Mana mana tota, aku chikratuk bola, chishok chonatong chong king no una pang pa wata wama muli ra, king kun chope shak, no ba muli ra ji. Johnny Yun Turung Chi, we eat the deer. Bola Una Chinek. Bamuli Rat Slimo Wanga Kunbis King. Tong Hai Tuam Jiji Yumalith Pa Ang Inkotu. Tolba Da Bunk Walya Gando De Nago Chuchut. Kachi Chu Ai Tha Haudunga. Yumalith Ka Inkotun. Chilo Mulra De Ne Bobo. Wunga Kunbis Kang. Bamulara. Achuta, wonga kun pistol piking kun. Konti chani, muli ra ashong turong umnit patoga wangka chone tize. Ikrak 
Duk Hartu Chichia Watayuma Kawama Huhanek. Shanji Kin Lord Chawa Tauma Kava Volpa Mulchi Kumana Kin Kun Shachi King Ni Kin Kunoba Muli Raji Kun Wama Kunbes Chin Palamuji Tunira Nu Prata Dunko Sercha Doma Doma Tuni pudu, rana nu prata dunk no sercha i chua penki. Mucha shak pangpa, inkin kun no ba mulri rachi kun. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aitha odonga tulpa da bong molya gando da nago churchut moga shampong pa bolawan na chikni ba mule slik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli ra best tong hai tuam jiji yumalit pa ang inkotu tulpa da bong molya gando da nago churchut kachi chu aitha odonga yumalit ka inkotun. Chilo mulera de ne bobo, unko kun biskang ba mulera. Kukumo no Kuyamin
Back again. Excellent. You did well in our last match, but I... If you ever look... Back again. Excellent. You did well in our last match, but I if you ever look Hey baby, back again I see. I guess the old Holden charm is still working. The ladies just can't leave me alone. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. 
Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Well, I guess you may be right. Besides, I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Ho 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 ho! 
What do you want now? This whole thing with Dia is over, so we don't have anything to discuss. I don't want to waste my time answering a bunch of questions. I'm here to have a few drinks, watch the dancing girls, and enjoy myself. I've got to be mentally ready. Davik's got an assignment for me off planet as soon as the quarantine ends. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customer. Hate to see a pr Kavadumpa kapaliamo na pata, bona nakachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun sha nu yang. Ti un pa do punta krita, ak ti konto una chaba chisa wanki. Ti toki grantu kon chip chan kun green kanchan tu pro. Bok wala no bok cha, ni chi kon chuba kin lota ita kun. Kipuna. Bona na kichu, kin ba mule radwana, don kin ba no kudnok nek, kava numpa kum pialia monokata, ranga kun bis kin no moruat, ka kin chana guana bokon, tangabun shan om nang, wanga kun bis kin ba mula rak, choni yun tun jiji ida dwana, kava vulpa muji gumana. Shagji kina lorcha watamwana kin kun shishi kin ni kin kun ban mula rag jikun wama kun bes ching pala mule tune rana nu prata donko searcha domatama we team and bon rang thong muli ra un shanturing um ni patoka wanga chonzi tse ika krotu haku jije watu yama kama wuna henak nek Kun shi 
kai kitchen awana wamata ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji ching pala niska mule tun rata tigin po dranko the search at doma wana konda tama randi i chawa tongbola johnny ku you ma wama nibo lora waisha waga shi chi taku justa miki grabble bogo kachi chu ita bodunga tolo dank wale oganda na ru chuchut Malaysia Punga, bola wana cik he. Kamule slimo, poda dada nangga kumbis, mule rabes. Ronda di hotonga kun hangkabi. Wana kumbes, ching pala mule, tungking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chetu kunde, mule rabes. Genchopa chawi tichok twiz yun kun. Watu yama kama wana henak nek. Bugra shak kun tichi wa mchawa. Tong abuk shami nonok, bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mulera, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon, tong kiba nukunek, tong abuk sha um nagnong. Pongko koki bagpaka, ting pala chiska mule tunarana nu prata dongko si cha duma wamama tuks keba toma ni sha julorja kinguno bule rajiko. Kudu tunirama na praka dongko searcha chupa panki bona na kachu kicha badwang. Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Tong ki ba nukunek, tong a book sha um nak nong. Chica don pata casa bunga, mucha hodunga yo luke ke. Ta kung justa miki grabble bogo, kachichu ita bodunga. Tolo bank wale oganda na ru chuchut. Kava don pa kapaliya mo na pata, bona na kachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun sha nu yang kipuna bona na kichu. Kin ba mule radwana, don kin ba no kunok nek. Kava numpa kun pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana guana bokon. Shagji kina lorcha watambwana kin kun shi shi kin ni kin kun ban mula rag ji kun wama kun best ching pala mule tune rana nu prata donko searcha domatama? Ucha hatonga ya fulke ja chiska to punta kasa pumbaka bana oto. Mokao dang ya foki ja chiska to punta kaka spaka bana oto. Takum jus tak miki grabble bogo kachichu ita bodunga tolo bank wale oganda na ru chuchut mule sha punga bola wana chikne pa mule slimo poda dada nanga kumbis mule rabes Gigi hakuji lord chakin kuna va mule rigi kun kachichu to la podo to punta casa ta bon. Ay ta ho danga wala ganto da nagato chuchu mukiti chokay ti unpikita.
we team and bo rang thong muli ra on shaturing um ni patoga wanga chon zi te ika krotu haku jije patu yama kama wuna henak nek Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll! Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Right. 
Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I... I suppose our world doesn't look like much to you. It's dark and cold and lonely down here, but this is the only world I've ever known. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here, and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. He'll be somewhere in the village... I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Well... I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really liked to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. 
They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the prices are right. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. 
The villagers infected with the Rakgur disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rakgurs, we'll let them destroy each other. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Rakgur disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can live. I accept this. If you think that makes me a coward, so be it. If you have questions, you should speak to Gendar. He's the leader of this village. All my attention has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. The villagers infected with the Rakgur disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rakgur... Farewell. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life... I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... well... I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? You seek my wisdom, but I dare not share my knowledge with you. Not yet. Not until you prove yourself to be the one foretold. The one who will guide us to salvation. Find my apprentice. Discover what fate has befallen her, and I will know you are worthy 
and not another false prophet sent to mislead my people. I wish you luck up... Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Ask your questions. The rock ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected lest they transform and turn on us. Ask... We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together... I am Gendar, leader of this village. There is no... Ask... Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries, they come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. As you wish, Upworlder. There, Upworlder. Ah, a coupage. A two.
Ajuda. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. There up where yeah. he's Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! <sighs> I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rat Ghouls are so near. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Please 
You have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Becks won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I can't ask Gadden. He's always telling me not to go into the Undercity. He says it's too dangerous with the Rat Ghouls and Gamorreans and all. He'll never send his Bex down there. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Yeah?
please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing, like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! I can feel it! I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. That's Kanderous Ordo. He's the most famous Mandalorian mercenary in this sector of the galaxy. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Kanderous, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. <laughs> Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Normally, I'd make you regret those words, but I'm not wasting another minute down here. I'm responsible for this whole company, and they won't survive down here much longer. Come on, boys, let's move out! What? What? I'm here.
Civilian, this is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? You're questioning the Sith. How many people do we have to kill before the rest of you learn some respect? Well, I guess it's time for another lesson. Patrol, attack!
civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? You're questioning the Sith. How many people do we have to kill before the rest of you learn? Well, I guess it's... Karth, you're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing.
Hey there, what can I do for you? Terrace is a pretty good place to grow up, all things considered. Just stick to the area you belong in and stay out of Davik's business and you'll be fine. The Upper City's got some nice shops and all, but it's boring. The only time I go up there is if I need free healing from Zelka at his medical facility. What can I say? The Lower City was a great place to hang out until the Volkers started that gang war. Now you can't even walk the streets without getting shot at. I tend to keep my nose out of an intergalactic crime lord's business, you know? I can't tell you much that isn't common knowledge. Extortion, slavery, smuggling... Davik's got a piece of all the action here on Terrace. Even the Swoop Gang's no better than to get in his way. Hey, no problem. I'm here to help, right? Hey there, what can I do for you? Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the Lower City. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So, maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! And charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Treat me like I'm a little girl. I ain't no kid. I'm 14 years old. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. My brother's a touchy subject, you know? It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Hey there, what can I do for you? I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. It's complicated. 
Griff wasn't the most popular guy. He had his faults. But I still loved him, you know? Sometimes people don't understand. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive. He showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subjects closed as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Terrace is a pretty good place to grow up, all things considered. Just stick to the area you belong in and stay out of Davik's business and you'll be fine. Hey, no problem.
What? What? I'm here.
Thank <laughs> you. 